It's random lift tool specials, and this time we were doing the random lift tool of, the, of this 9th of October and Spanish Independence Day 2021. So it's random lift tool time to get this random lift to a really fast start. We were going to arrange the centre, and this time we were dropping off to the Sunny Sea Station since my parents are not are not together anymore. The fa anyways, so so the fa so we were dropping off to the Sunny Sea Station, and the train that we that we kept, that was in the station when we arrived first, we missed it. It was a line to the Paterna. Turn up, but it's really weird. But oh well, at least at least we took the line one to better, which is another option. So who cares? The train that was using that line due to pretend that we train we missed was the 4324. That's just the exact same train we missed. Anyways, now we have arrived in the station and now and now let's get to ride the line one to better, which is when it's gonna when this, I wonder when it's gonna come. Here we have a the station, and here's one of the lifts. This is the lift that in platform one. Last time I've seen it, it was out of. S Last time I've ri I've tried to read in this lift, it was out of service, unfortunately. But who cares? That lift was just crap. Anyways, for the lifts, when I'm gonna write them later on, the also there will be a special lift. There will be a special lift that will be included. So don't forget. Where's your old Sunny Cedar Station? Are you kidding me? This is a fail. The last time, the last train of this platform was aligned to to pretend as I've saw it in the car. Is this having a fucking fail? Anyways, back at Sunny Sea Rest Station, ever since the last time I went, I was getting on the train. The lift at this platform was out of service.
Kumbaya. This station is Patrice. This train terminates at Petra. It's kind of a London Underground impersonation. But who cares? Stop announcement. Mm, it looks like they kind of took out a vending, a vent, they kind of took out vending machines. 
you know, cook. This station is Jesus. Change here for the 97 and the high speed train. This train terminates at Metra. Uh, none uh, around the Jubilee line announcements. No, we're sure this is. London Underground. Anyways, let's get off at the next te the next station. Actually, I was planning to do something else instead of getting off straight at this station. Let's make sure that was, uh, if that was the, if that was the 2012 on the train. I'm sorry, it's the newest, the newest, the Next lift. Um. The train is going off now. Let's just go up. How's the plan to get the, to get off at Shatiwa Station, which you think which is nearest to H to the H and M? I bet it will be easier instead of walk instead of walking. I bet it will be more. <sighs> 
Amen. Anyways. I don't know if we should actually get some of the shed to station or not. Anyways. I'll try this anyway. Now it's the sweet lift. And this lift is now this new lift is now on year old. It it just turned a year it just turned a year old last month. Oops. Fine. I didn't bother anyway. Well, it's a ride to sleep alone. I guess it's time for some deep shit. Ah, the voice doesn't sound anymore. And where does the sound of the lantern come from? It is really weird. And now, after coming out of the, the Vangel Juma Underground Station, there's also a, a library near, but nearby it. This library looks really old. It is from the 60s, 60s. And when I got inside, I was going to go there to buy my to buy my book for Spanish, to buy the to buy the lecture book I need for Spanish lessons that since I couldn't even find it on Wildpo and, and such. Since I used to buy to buy most of my school books and off from Wildpo or something. Anyways, what's really interesting in the library is that no entry sign no entry sign at some at some point. It is really interesting how it was pla it was was placed. This is so this is so nice. I do I don't really I don't really get why they place this this real this real this really nice no entry sign like like that. It is usually placed above the doors. At least in this country, you don't get arrested for accidentally littering. It's like not the United States. On this plane, always there's more interesting shit to see. Look at this. It is. This is a really nice fountain. It's just shaped like a fish, but it's kind of, but it's kind of like a small fountain. But oh well, who cares? Who cares? This. Is, it is what really makes this fountain interesting, anyway. Tienes que controlarlo, pensarlo y controlarlo. No puedes cada vez que te expresas pegar unos gritos en el So like it's usually right here, you don't really have interest in this. You don't have as much corn uh, on the space lifts. So speaking of that, so speaking of that, I haven't even filmed that much. I haven't even filmed that much corn on spaces around here in Valencia. Maybe if in the United Kingdom I'll, I'll find some more. In the United Kingdom if I go next year, I'll find. I'll find any types of corny most pace lifts. But hopefully I can go out. But fucking hell, Brexit start. Brexit is started a long time ago. It's kind of so long. Ugh, is that true? Oh shit. Mm -hmm. I actually know who he is. Actually, I actually know who Rivo is. Yeah. 
And that's always that new car park fishing club MRLD. I, I didn't manage to ride it, but I almost did when somebody came out with it on the ground floor. And now into Seaman, which is somehow some, some, store mi some, some, some store branch made by Dutch people. So, so, so I entered here because I, I didn't really have much underwear, and I, and I didn't, and I didn't really, and I, and I came here to just to, to buy, to buy this underwear. Any, anyway, most of these Siemens are really new. It just looks like if it was recently found. And look, most here's how most of its stores look like inside. Anyway, moving on, side of Siemens in the West Avenue car park, there's a really old building. Inside of it is some really, uh, uh, you used to have some really nice fishing clubs, but, the, but they've been modernized by Yulin. Yulin usually doesn't make, doesn't make, doesn't make, doesn't make gifts. It's actually an industrial com, it's actually a, an industrial company for other, an industrial company. I've never seen Yulin making lifts before. But on this point, there's some really old flat buildings. These are really historic for the Valencia Centre. This is a really nice view. But I guess I wouldn't write it because they're quiet. How? I guess I'm meaning to close that room, but I guess what? The residents don't even care. Well, I didn't really bother filming that lift, just in case there was concierge. Yeah, I think so. it was an old 70s lift in a history, in a history, flat build, in a history, flat building. <laughs> Square fountain. What makes it better is to see it at night. What street is that? In the lottery administration, I fa I found an advert for the Spanish Independence Day lottery, but my dad in didn't even bother paying it, paying for the Spanish Independence Day lottery because we ne we never ever ever won the lottery. So so who cares? Why why would why pay for the lottery if we don't even win it anyway? Anyways, let's move on. And now here are the pedestrian streets. Here's the cinema. Well, I'm not interested in any movies to watch at the cinema. So and now, before we move on to, it, to what's next, let's take a look at. Let's go back to the controversial shop. I realised that this shop sells actual cannabis. Ugh. 
That's just disgusting. Why would they sell cannabis in Valencia? Is it? Isn't that even illegal? Isn't it illegal to sell cannabis in Spain? I I don't know. We are quoting there's a free falls hasn't yet reopened and it has been closed for months. I bet they abandoned the, the development of turning it into an outlet. And now, as this Valencia Centre is really huge, it is a variety of old buildings which is a which is a good thing, but some of them are in might be more than day more than day buildings. Well well some of them are more than day buildings. Mostly Valencia Centre is really old buildings. Anyway, there's also a, a C1 line on Valencia EMT bus. This is so weird. I've never heard of, of these types of of that type of line in the Valencia bus before. It's now being replaced with an Otis Gen 2. I didn't manage to fil film it since there was concierge and I would have been in deep shit if I, if I filmed the live without, uh, without permission from the concierge. It's not loose here. I don't care.
Apparently, if actually needs to be replaced, it goes deep underground and it's just and it's a hydraulic. This actually goes steep underground. The platform lift needs to be replaced with traction pump. It's a fucking hydraulic lift. The series needs to be replaced. That's possibly the time of, of leaving. Seven, the train are approaching is to Toronto in Buddha. Please stand back from a platform edge. Well, not an underground person needs to climb even the four six seven stop. I'm talking really time.
Barcelona Bailén Conexión a una estación de Flor Garín Próxima parada, 
Satranas. Go back as soon as you see And now to the next lift. Since this is a random lift tour, I would bother filming the lifts at the train station. I would bother filming the lifts in the, in the Renfrey station. But, oh well. I'm going to film a lift at the Renfrew station. I haven't filmed it since December of last year. Dude! Seriously, wait for me up there in the bridge! Now to the, Renf now to the lift at the, tr at the Renfrew train station. It's the same as the last one, both has a different voice. So this is where it takes you down to the street level. Subiendo. Subiendo. 
Marta 1. Amén. The receptionist didn't even care that I was filming the lift. Back to the metro station and into the lift in the platform one. That was amazing. I went back to my place then at 10 p.m. I ate di I ate dinner. I really I ate a really delicious ham hamburger and vet and vet and some and sometime um, uh, and then and then after after dinner we like we have gone a bit a bit too f a bit too far making a bit of sex jokes and something. And now it's 11:47 p.m. It was almost midnight. Not really surprising anyway. And now to but but anyways anyways and now to believe for twelve so gotta be a plaza to sit generic Reese lift and but I managed to ride it when someone left the, the flat building door open on the ground floor. I've been wanting to film this since 2019. But my film is in our time tomorrow. Still is original, but the inner doors have been replaced. I said you didn't get any shit. I got I gotta get the fucking hell out of here. Hello. Uh, yeah I find I finally filmed the lift. Uh, good night. Thank you very much. Good night. It's officially midnight. Most of this place was really deserted. I 
And due to having an entire family, I went up really late and I was st starting to get really tired. Any anyways, I did sum up, I, as I call it is, I wasn't really tired, but I still decided to, to have a little bit of fun around the Zero Plus. Plus, so why not? So why not have a little bit of fun? Anyway, so, yeah, so why not have a little bit of fun?